Mariner 4 NASA launched Mariner 4 as the first spacecraft to fly by Mars and send back pictures. These pictures showed a dry, cratered surface. Before this, Mars was just a blurry red dot in the sky. Mariner 4's success was a huge leap forward in space exploration, providing the first clear images of another planet and opening the door for future Mars missions. Viking 1 and 2 Following Mariner 4, NASA launched the Viking missions, Viking 1 and Viking 2, which set a new standard for Mars exploration. In 1976, Viking 1 became the first spacecraft to land on Mars. It sent back the first detailed pictures from the Martian surface, offering a view of a landscape that was even more desolate and rocky than had been previously thought. A month later, Viking 2 also successfully landed on Mars and continued the exploration. The Viking missions were especially groundbreaking because they were the first to include both orbiters and landers. The orbiters provided detailed imagery of the Martian surface, while the landers conducted experiments to analyze the planet's soil and atmosphere. One of the most exciting aspects of the Viking missions was the search for signs of life. Although no definitive evidence of life was found, the missions provided key data that would guide later missions in their search for microbial life. The Viking missions also helped scientists understand the Martian atmosphere, climate, and geology, laying a strong foundation for future research. Mars Pathfinder and Sojourner in 1997, NASA launched the Mars Pathfinder mission, which included a small rover named Sojourner. This was the first successful rover mission to Mars, and it marked a major milestone in space exploration. Sojourner was a small, lightweight rover, but it made valuable contributions to our understanding of the Martian surface. It traveled across the planet, sending back pictures and studying rocks. Mars Pathfinder was also significant because it introduced new landing techniques, which proved essential for the success of future missions. The mission's innovative use of airbags to cushion the rover's landing was a key development, one that, that was used in later missions, including the more advanced rovers that followed. The success of Mars Pathfinder and Sojourner demonstrated that robots could travel across alien worlds, collecting valuable scientific data in the process. Okay, 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 hold on for a second. Now, you might be asking yourself, who is suddenly speaking here? Quite simply, this is my first video and I'm still experimenting a lot and decided to change the voiceover halfway through the video. And nope, I'm definitely not going to change the first part of the video again. It took long enough anyway. And uh, if you have watched until here, please let me know what you think about this, well, new narration style. We'll now have fun with the rest of the video. Mars Odyssey. In 2001, Mars Odyssey launched into space, ready to become one of the most important tools for exploring Mars. Its mission? Fly around the red planet and uncover its secrets. And guess what? It nailed it. One of the coolest things Odyssey found was water ice. No, no, not that kind of ice. Actual frozen water hiding just under the surface. Now you might think, okay, so what? But this was a big deal. It showed that Mars wasn't just a giant dusty rock, it had potential. Scientists got super excited because it meant Mars might have been a bit more friendly to life at some point. And, I mean, we all know a person who was especially happy about that, right? But that's not all. Odyssey also became NASA's go-to mapper, carefully studying the Martian surface to find the best places for future missions to land. Thanks to Odyssey, rovers like Spirit, Opportunity, and Perseverance had safe places to touch down. Imagine planning a trip to Mars without a map. Yeah, not a great idea. Odyssey also took on a big side job as Mars's main communication hub. It acted like a space mailman, sending data from the rovers and landers back to Earth. Without Odyssey, all that important info might still be stuck on Mars, gathering space dust. Even today, after 24 years of hard work, which, let's say, is really old for a spacecraft, Odyssey is still orbiting Mars and sending us valuable data about its composition, climate, and potential resources. Unfortunately, though, according to calculations, our little friend will run out of fuel in 2025, and please don't ask me what will happen to him then. The InSight mission. In 2018, NASA decided, hey, let's dig into Mars and launch the InSight mission, the first ever mission designed to study the inside of the red planet. I mean, yeah, by now I've told you enough about the Mars' surface, right? So the InSight mission was all about finding out what's beneath Mars' exterior. It's packing a seismometer to catch Mars quakes. Yes, Mars quakes. Because apparently Mars is shaking too, just like Earth, but like, a little less dramatic. And it's got a drill to take a deep dive into Mars' crust to figure out what makes it tick. The goal? Well, scientists are hoping to unlock some of Mars' secrets, like how it formed, how its core works, and maybe, just maybe, what went wrong. I mean, the Earth isn't looking so great either at the moment, so we're all kind of curious about Mars' life choices. What else did we learn from the InSight mission? Oh yeah, they also measured the heat flow under Mars' surface, because apparently, knowing how warm, well actually how cold Mars is down there, is like super important for understanding its geology. And to be honest, it could as well be pretty helpful for future astronauts. I mean, landing on a planet with no clue about its interior? Bold move, right? 
So yeah, by studying all of this, we'll learn more about whether Mars could ever support human life, because apparently that's one of humanity's biggest hopes. Well, let's just wait for NASA to tell us if Mars is the next vacation destination or a giant dusty wasteland. Either way, we'll be watching. Perseverance rover. NASA lands this absolute unit of a rover on Mars called Perseverance. For me, it's definitely the coolest mission so far, but that's not because the rover looks special or something. It actually looks exactly the same as the others so far. No, it brought a helicopter with it. You heard right, but I'm gonna tell you about that later. Firstly, Perseverance's mission was to find aliens, but like ancient ones, no little green men. Sorry, Perseverance is basically a high-tech detective on wheels, searching for signs of ancient life. It's also collecting rocks and dirt to send back to Earth someday, because, you know, having an actual piece of a Mars rock in your hand is quite a cool idea. I mean, just have a look at that. There's little rocks and sand, just like on Earth. Personally, I find it super hard to comprehend that this is actually another planet. Like, what? Man, space is something interesting, isn't it? And now let's have a look at Ingenuity, the helicopter. Yep, a flying robot on Mars for the first time in history. But please don't get too excited yet because it looks like this. But, I mean, it's still a helicopter and it was super efficient as it was able to move much faster than the rovers while still maintaining a small distance to the surface. So anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like and please don't hesitate to request a topic you'd like to see in a video. See you around.